There are countless books of Maine photography, but Ed Kenny's stands apart. The title tells you what Kenny focused his camera on, the winter coast of Maine. What is it about the look of winter in Maine on the coast that appeals to you so? There's a, a barrenness to it, but it exposes, the, the, the lack of foliage exposes sort of what's underneath. Kenny, who lives in Owl's Head, is fascinated by the winter light. It has a texture and angle that you won't see in the other seasons. You retired and moved to Maine, moved to this house around 2009? We came here full time in 2009, although we owned the house since 97. And at that point, did your, the time that you could spend on photography really whoosh, take off? I couldn't wait. I really couldn't wait. I was uh, through with the world of work. I wanted to do photography. What was it that you wanted to go out and shoot? How did you want to spend that time? I traveled. We went to Patagonia. We've made several trips out to the Southwest. We've been to Namibia. We've been to Botswana, Costa Rica. Uh, I've been to Iceland and Greenland and uh, Northern Europe, Southern Europe. So it's, it's just being out there. But, but my love is here. My love is the coast of Maine. And that's sort of the, the genesis and the, the, uh, the thought behind the, the book. Kenny is not a professional photographer, but a passionate and dedicated amateur. The photography of Elliot Porter, who also had ties to Midcoast Maine, has had a profound influence on him. It left me speechless. It was exquisite. The, the color work that he did really helped legitimize color photography. Color photography always took a back seat to black and white. Kenny's photos capture the harshness of winter, its bleak, unforgiving quality. I used to tell people that fall was my favorite season to, uh, to photograph. And then one day it was sort of like, well, how much foliage do you need? It was getting to the point where I needed to do something else. You say, how much foliage do you need? But people could say, Ed, how many bare trees do you need? How many brown fields do you need? Well, it's, it's, more, it's more than just brown fields and and trees. I get asked more often than any other question, why did you choose to do color in a season when there's not a lot of color around? And I want to answer, well, anybody can do black and white, but that's not really the answer. The, the answer is I, I'm a color guy. I'm kind of a color junkie. So doing color was just a natural for me. If you're going to shoot the coast of Maine in winter, then sea smoke is something you're going to see from time to time, not all that often. To me, to my untrained eye, it's one of the most magical things that happens in Maine. Do you like shooting sea smoke? I love it. I love it. If there are boats in it uh, or other objects in it that, that, are, that are enveloped in the sea smoke, then so much the better. Sometimes sea smoke's just sea smoke, and it's not a very interesting image. But if there's something else in the image, that's what makes it. Bad weather often makes for good photographs. And another bit of wisdom from Kenny, his first rule of photography is you got to be there. And number rule number two and rule number three is reread rule number one. If you're not out there, it's just not going to happen. Obviously, what you're interested in is nature photography, but it's kind of striking as one looks through the book. No people. A few. <laughs> yeah, you got to kind of look for them. A few. One of those few was a fisherman Kenny photographed at the start of an absolutely frigid day. The wind chill that morning had to be in the negative 20s. I was sitting in the car warming my fingers up on the heating vents so that I could get the feeling back to operate the camera. And I watched this gentleman drive up in his pickup truck, climb down the ladder to the float, get in his dinghy, row out to that boat, fire it up, and go to work. If there's a people picture that I'm most proud of in that book, that's the picture because it is quintessential Maine. Summer tourists with cameras in hand never see the austere beauty of winter in Maine. Ed Kenny has no desire to trade places with them. Can you ever imagine yourself doing a book of photography of summer in Maine? I can't. <laughs>